So I want you guys to meet my friend John. John's actually a lot like me. He's into Mopars, he's a gearhead, he's a mechanic. But we're, we're different in, in some ways. John is meticulous and likes to work with late model stuff, unlike moi. So he's building this Pro Touring 71 Hemi Roadrunner. It's 6'4"? Six, 6'4 six, six, four? Six, four Hemi. 6'4 six, four Hemi. Yep. This is John. And uh, look at the shop, right? This is like, okay, could you see, could you see me? No, you couldn't see me. So, it's beautiful because this is, uh, okay, we'll, do, we'll do a commercial, we're not doing a commercial, that's his business. There you go, so you want a, a fancy, snazzy garage floor, go there. Alright, so, I came by a couple of weeks ago to visit and he showed me the project that he's working on. And we were crawling around and, and I, I slid underneath the back of it and I was like, this is just artwork, I gotta show this, we gotta do a feature on this. And this is Kurt. Kurt's the guy that did the fabrication work under the back. So he's going to give us a tour of that. But before we climb under the car, John, give us a walk yeah. around to this. Sure. Yeah. So we got a um, 392 with 64 out of a two, or 2020 Challenger. It only had 9,000 miles on it. I was able to pick it up for a pretty good price. Um, but what I decided to do was we took a Riley's Motorsport RMN. RMS. Well, wait, before you even do that, the car. Tell us about oh, the car. 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 Okay. So my wife had bought this for me as a birthday present out of California. It was a surprise birthday present. And as soon as I got it, it was always one of my dream cars. As soon as I got it, I knew I had to do something nice with it. I saw the pictures of it. It was like roached. But I know a lot of you purists, I'm a purist. I know. I'm one of you, okay? I'm going to look at this and say, what's he doing in that car, right? And this thing was roached. He's, he's giving it a whole new life. So don't, you know what I mean? So we went through. Um, Four pan for rod, and we put replaced the four pans, inner fender, both quarter panels, um, trunk gutters, extensions. All beautiful, all first class work. Like John is a lot like Kiwi, right? They're actually, they both they like they like to mix the older bodies with the newer technology, and they're both meticulous with what they do. It's Fantastic, and all little workmanship. Actually, I met him. I met you what about 12 years ago? Mm -hmm. And he had the, he had the uh, uh, 73 Barracuda. He had a 73 Barracuda. And I'm looking at the paint job on this car, like because I, I was getting ready to paint my own car. And I'm looking at this paint job, like oh god, this is so beautiful. Like who did this for you? And he's like, I, I shot it myself. He says, No kidding, you got to paint it. He says, No, I shot it in my backyard. It was like a mile deep. It was like perfect. So. All right, so let's let's talk about the, the mechanics of this thing underneath of this. Okay, sure. so we got the like I said, 392 Hemi. Um, at the time, with the power steering, with electric power steering, so we converted it over to manual power steering. So we'll have the manual power steering with the uh, rack and pinion steering set up again from Riley Motorsports. And that K you frame know, is the, it's a Riley Motorsports uh, altercation. Okay, K frame. Anything, anything crazy sticking in in there? No, no, slid right in. If you go to my YouTube channel. I'll have a time lapse video of it. We see me slide it right in in about 25 seconds. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, so that's the other thing too. We'll check in on this as he goes along with it. But if you want to follow regular updates on it, we'll put a link to his channel in the comments or in the description. So, but yeah, he'll do regular updates on that. And like I said, we'll check back in after he's got it pulled it further along. Were there any issues with that K-frame? Excuse me? Any clearance issues? Nope, nope. The only thing different? was alternator. I just had notched about an eighth of an inch. But other than that, fit perfectly. Look look at your notch. Look how perfect your notch is. <laughs> I would have been in there with a torch. <laughs> All right. Can we get up underneath this thing? Absolutely. All right. So, Kurt, you're a Mopar guy from the back. Oh, yeah. 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 You've got a, uh, you've got a 68 Roadrunner. That's my dad's car. Your dad's car. I've got a 69 GTX, a 71 GTX, a 68 satellite wagon, and a 69 Roadrunner. You got a nice fleet. All basket case stuff. But That's okay. They're all, hey, they, they're all buildable cars. You they know. start as basket cases. Every one of them, yeah. He's putting this thing up in the air.
The Bronco. You guys, you guys got to see his. Right, we'll get, John, we're gonna do your Bronco. We yeah. Have, I'm not even gonna tell you about that. I'll just show you in a week or two. Yeah, so everything these guys do is just meticulous. Look at these frame connectors that they stuck in here. These are, are these the US car tool ones? Excuse me? Are these the US car tool ones? Yes, yep. Okay. So, <coughs> so you said it's out of 2013? 2013 Challenger RT 576 b Okay, so now what exactly did you have to do to get this thing to fit in here like this? Um, I started out, before I even pulled the eight and three quarter out, I started measuring wheel location. Okay. Center line to the front, uh, ride height. I knew about where he was going to be, so when I started putting this in, I had it on a, on a stand that was adjustable. Okay. Um, and I started locating the wheels first, and then Really, all I had to notch on the body was right here for this front mount location. Okay, here, so I had to, come here, get a look at this. So I had to notch a little bit up here for that upper trailing arm, and then a little bit right here for this mount. Now, this metal right here is what? A quarter inch. No, I, okay, this this is, you fabricated this. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I cut that out of some plate. I handmade all of, all this mount as well. That was beautiful. Now, when I notched into the rail, I didn't want any kind of structural problems, so I, that's why I, re I capped inside and outside okay. with the quarter inch. And, and this is a pro touring car, which means it's probably going to end up seeing autocross and stuff like that. Possibly, so it's gotta yeah. Be, yeah. It's got to be right. Now, what about <coughs> the track? Um, we, we I got the rear in it, and we test, he got his wheels in with test fitting. Okay. And uh, this was about an inch and a half per side wider than a stock 71B body eight and three quarter. Okay. So a wide rear to begin with. It's a wide. It's like 62 track width. Right. So this is closer to 65, and it was putting the wheel too far out. It was okay. going to look funky too far out. So dropped it back out, completely disassembled it. The main problem that I was running into was finding somebody to cut the axles. So once we found, um, and that was a little bit of a challenge, called a couple of different places, finally found somebody to make a new center shaft for the CV axle. Okay. Um, and they did a really good job. All right, so that's the axle, but where did you take the, the width out of here? So I set the cradle with nothing bolted to it on a table, okay. and I welded the center mounting points all of this area in here for okay. the differential to the table. I dropped posts down. Okay. And then I, I made uh, temporary mounts on the table for this mounting location. Okay. So then I cut between that and moved because if you start shortening arms and doing all that, you get rid of all the geometry. The only job was, that's what I was thinking, as you were describing the, the axles to me, and right. I was looking for where the cut might be. But right, so all of this is all factory Chrysler arms. 
So if he was, let's say, in Texas at a show and hit a chuck hole, he could go and get this repaired right. fairly easy. So, and I didn't want to lose the handling of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I cut, I cut the cradle here and right in here and took the inch and a half out and moved all those inner mounting points towards the center line. Okay, so guys, yeah, come around over here. Just in case you guys want to try this at home, right? You can barely see it. But here's where he cut the seam, right here. And you cut how much out of each side? Inch and a half. Inch and a half out of each side. <coughs> beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. See, there's little details like this. Here, come here. Look at, look at the way this thing clears the gas tank. <laughs> Right, just a little just dimple clear. in the gas tank, and you got the factory. Right, so there's there's no there's no craziness here. If he if he needs to pop a tank in it, it's just a regular replacement tank. He needs any rear suspension parts, they're just regular rear suspension parts. This is this is this is just absolutely art. You guys have done just a fantastic job on this. Here, look at this. So did you fabricate this whole upper mount, or is yeah. this? Yeah, I'm, I handmade all of that. That's beautiful. Kind of kind of old school with a plasma cutter and a grinder. Now, do you do customer work or is it just, just for friends? A um, little here and there. Um, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, how would they do it? Mm, I don't have a website or I got Facebook, but that's about it. They'll get a hold of John. <laughs> yeah, 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 call John. At his, what's the name of this place? <laughs> Gar Guardian Garage Guardian Floor. Garage floor. <laughs> so GuardianGarageFloor.com. If you need this guy to come and, and whip you together an absolute piece of art, this is how you get a hold of him. Guardian Garage Floors. So what's the next step on this car? Mm. Well, today we're going to put in the CV axles. So okay. get it up and rolling. Um, strip off the undercoating. Get it all cleaned up underside. Finish off the bodywork. Block it. Paint it. Put it all together. I've got everything sitting on that shelf to put it together. Show me, show me what you're doing with the, here, just real, I know this, this, this is becoming a long video, but that's cool. <laughs> you got a lot of cool stuff here. Show the, what are you doing here with oh, the dashboard? I would clean off the table if I could have something. All right, so what I did is I took the custom, or new dash pad, and I went over to Dakota Digital, had them make up a set of custom gauges, so these are all going to be fully digital gauges. Now, where did you get that radio delete bezel? Because that, that's like... on eBay, and I got lucky and found one, and I don't think the guy knew what he had. So I got a full rally set up with a radio delete bezel for the price of a regular... That's, I, honestly, then, I don't think I've ever actually seen, other, yeah. other than you know, maybe, maybe, a, maybe a super stalker occasionally. Yeah. I don't think I've seen one of those. Yeah. Hard to come by. Yeah, sure. And then my next step is I'm going to go with the knob shifter for the, for the transmission, so I'm going to find a way to graft it here into the... Uh, ashtray hole. But other than that, I'm going to try to keep everything looking as stock as possible, but have a new modern car. That's awesome. How long do you think before you can wrap this thing up? Mm, probably be about another year. Another year? That's just me doing everything by myself. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't a shop with high turnover and lots of workers or anything. This is just his, this is, is the shop for his, his garage floor fun. business. And, just a little, a little side project. That's beautiful, man. All right, guys. So, like I said, the link, the link to John's YouTube channel will be in the description. You can't remember the name of his own channel. Because he's not a YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber. He's, he's actually a successful businessman. <laughs> All right. So, uh, get the link. And thank you for the tour under the car. No problem. Awesome no problem. work. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. And, uh, and that's it, guys. See you tomorrow.